Hello gamers, I am Centaurian Muppig and welcome along to an Ashes of the Singularity Escalation cast. This is Shimbal Armor vs. Powell. So in the south we have Powell as Substrate, in the north Shimbal Armor as PHC. Forward Factory there by Powell going for Metal and Shimbal Armor also going for the Metal as well. I'll just start spitting out what. Oh, a brute. No, total just archer combination there. Just using an archer where they'll just one shot these. Yeah. Guardians, creepers, whatever they're called. And. Ooh. Interesting. Powell not quite doing that. Getting the factory down in the south, but using two engineers to speed up production there hmm. might be interesting to see how that works for him but just going total reapers at the moment but powell yeah not so great on resources shimano is okay and powell is edging up there just because he's spending more in shimano increasing faster and also getting some uh dominators out into the fold uh, interestingly, Shimalama has not gone for any uh, at this time, but a couple of forward factories down this side, going for those middle metal nodes. So a big old increase in metal, and yes, going for Terranium down that side. And Powell, just a massive Reaper army coming up over down on the western side. Totally ignoring his eastern now. And just all these engineers just focusing on Reapers, not even using any, or what the unit's called, the support unit, which gives energy. I forget it. Uh, as these Reapers do require energy, as you can see, that little yellow bar there, uh, and the AT energy. But moving on there, not a problem for that. But the big old problem is these Ur units really want to be using these to protect them because they'll just come and wipe them out. Off the goes, yes, he's realised. Moving his units, trying to keep them alive, but he's moving them to the wrong place. Here we go. Oh, this will be interesting. Reapers just mowing down those cruisers. Not a problem for so many Reapers, but look at the energy now just not that much energy they do recharge on their own but nowhere near as fast as if they had a unit but now let's just look at this just look <laughs> oh my word wow why is this massive stream of reapers coming out there just an, an overcharge thirteen thousand in military and economic strength between reapers and dominators oh we also got some Punisher's coming into the fold and now he's going down the other side of the flanks. Interesting. Not committing to just either side. He's, he's, he's going either one side or the other. He's switched sides. He's coming down the other ones. Drone bay. Is that complete? Yeah. Do you have a drone bay finished? It being ignored though. So is it up? Is it running? Can't see any drones spawning around. But they must be attacking these guys. A bit of damage there. Big old Reaper swarms coming on there. Big uh, push on the other side. Wow. This is really... <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. This is really fun. Look at it. Just this sort of commitment with Tech 1 Reapers. Just a massive Reaper spawn. And then getting Ur uh, units coming on there. If you really want to be coming down and zeroing in on those resources with all those units, and where have they gone? Did we lose them or did you pull them back? Hmm, I think you might have lost them. But just sitting here now, we got there, or oh, there's a moving off over there. Interesting, he just wants to sit on the Terinium generators. One of his, his plan is just to sit there and hold both. Generators, but come on, orbital attacks, nice and easy, wipe all them out if you're not careful. A big army push on there, really need a lot more Zeus cruisers than what is currently there. Ooh, 
ball out. Yeah, Reaper's not even pushing in there, just sitting there at the back. He's not even engaging with those units. Pushing in down that side. Oh, this is massive, massive Reaper. It's like, get a lot more Hades bombers out there. Let's bomb them. Ooh, a nice counter to that. Just, just, just a massive blob of Reapers <laughs> on both sides. <laughs> is it me or are they coming through even thicker or faster? Wow. Six engineers is focusing on getting those Reaper swarms and coming out there. Oh, we must have just lost uh, an orbital attack. See what would have took them out there. Do you have the tech buildings? Of course he has the tech buildings for that. So orbital attack would have wiped out that massive Reaper spawn in there. Powell making a big hit for losing on them. But now, being a bit more cautious by the looks of it with their still builds more engineers. Power, just look at all this metal he's got stored. Why aren't you building more factories? You've got more metal than you can shake a stick at. Build more factories, you'll have even more Reapers coming into the fold. And here we go. Pushing in there, but orbitals. Might really make quick work of them. Seems like, like Shimalama might be able to pull back from this. Especially if Powell doesn't change his, his tactics. He's just always oh, always oh, just adding more engineers into the fall. But look at that, you've got four thousand metal almost. Build another <laughs> just build another one. Build another what are they called? Assemblies. You know? Uh, build another assembly. Use all those metal, you know, we'll just get your resources out there. That's Shimmel armor, yeah, nice, nice defenses in his base. I don't think, yeah, just the one wide open, no even much air defenses there. Focusing on punishers as well. And Shimmel armor really struggling with the amount of units he's got. Going, focusing on anti air, a bit late for that drone bay. Definitely late for that drone bay. Engineers just pulling back and not doing anything with that. Really, really taxing his metal there. If only we could convert some radioactives into another resource and vice versa. There we go. We seem to be spending a bit more now. Power there. We just has it has he bothered? Is he just adding more engineers? <laughs> just an over alliance. So it take down one factory. A big air push could easily make quick work of Powell's strategy, but look at this, just, <laughs> just massive plop, but he's just sending them in, oh my word, it's not a problem, Shibu Lama's army's just sitting there, he's just picking them off as they come in one at a time, oh that was a bit, uh, a bit bad decision there, with regards to where you're putting the rally point for your factories, just build them up, there we go, we're building them up, you know, just see again. Just he's changed his rally point again. Not committing and just wasting these units. Really, really big old wasteful resources coming out there. And there we go. We get a bit of a group coming in, pushing in forwards. That's what he really needs to do. Group them up, sending them in one by one. It's just like alarm sort of slaughter. And yeah, there we go. Powell now actually maximizing his resources. <laughs> wow. Shibalaba, yeah, able to push down on the right hand side. Sitting there though. Powell redirecting his forces. Again, just allowing them to get pushed off. As, it, as a good tactic idea as it was in producing Reapers, he, Powell isn't using them to great effect. Not at all. He's uh, really needs to group them. Could really even start flanking and just cut down these sides here. Uh, I don't know why Shimbalama uh, is investing in Heracruz. It's not exactly going to be that effective against there. Uh, should have really an over alliance on Zeus cruisers. To combat this, this threat, and Shimalama just lots of dominators in there. Really, if you had a little look, we could really hurt Powell. Oh, that we see that plasma storm comes in, wipes them out. Still, just over reliance, just not even bothering to throw in 
some anti cruise um, what is it mobile nullifiers oh and powell calls it good game he's given up he's given in even though he's still got these massive dominators you still have the boss map you just change yeah you build order he could win what's going to happen are we going to finish is he finishing on there seems production has halted oh he's going for dreadnought interesting he's he's he's, he's, <laughs> he's changed it he's now going to try and go for a dreadnought like oh he's cancelled it honestly oh and the gameplay has crashed uh but with only a few seconds there let's just say that symbol armor has won this one I don't understand why he decided to cancel his Dreadnought build there at that last moment when he had it over 50% complete. He could have just spewed out Dreadnoughts and had set them straight down one side for the Nexus. But yeah, that was just a very interesting Mass Reaper spawn there, definitely. Definitely. Big thanks for Shimmel Armor for sharing this replay. And thank you for Power for showing this strategy off. But. Orbital nullifiers and Kurgiv is in the mix. Uh, even just some maulers as well, and then you would you would have had that in the bag. I think you could have quite easily uh, dominated with that tactic. Definitely, definitely, definitely an interesting strategy, but you just just wasn't able to capitalize on it uh, to the end. Uh, Shimbalama was able to push back enough use, using his orbital attacks to wipe them out. Uh, but if he did bother to scout Powell's base, he could have seen exactly just how open Powell would have been to a quick bombing run, which which would have easily have took took care of him. Uh, but yeah, that was a fun game, fun match, fun match to see. Okay, gamers, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a like. If you did not subscribe, subscribe. Uh, why not share this video with your friends because come on this was a fun 20 minute game <laughs> all right then well 12 minutes actually until then since everyone will be saying bye for now